For today's moment of truth, I want to do something a little bit different. On today, I am sharing with you a poem from my business accountability partner who has morphed into a really, 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 really good friend. Her name is Nena Umello. With all of the, you know, the, the injustice that Black people has suffered over the last few centuries. These past two weeks after, you know, going through the trauma of watching George Floyd die on video right before her eyes has been a very, very traumatic experience. And not just for Black people, but for all people across this country, this nation, the world. Because people are protesting everywhere, everywhere to end injustice against Black people. And if you have watched that video of George Floyd's murder, then you too have experienced a trauma. And my good friend, Nena Umello, wrote this poem as a way to heal from the trauma that we have suffered for far too long. And when she shared this poem with me, it literally gave me chills. And I had to ask her, can I share this as a part of my moment of truth? And she said, yes. And I'm so glad that she did. So without further ado, I want to introduce to you Nina Umello's poem, We've Met Before. It's inconvenient, isn't it? Me talking to you with a flesh burnt hole in my chest. You talking to me with a footprint on my neck. We've had this conversation before. Last time, I was out for a jog. The time before that, I was asleep. You stormed down my door to wake me up. We met again while I was driving. My daughter was in the back. You scarred her for life. Made a surprise visit while I was babysitting and again at the playground. Remember when I was wearing the hoodie, walking back home? There was a time I was laying on the ground and another time I was down on my luck, homeless. You found me again walking at night and again holding a cell phone and again with a broken tail light. You stopped me at Walmart. You surprised me in my own backyard. Later, I was eating ice cream at my house. We've had this conversation before. You never remember my name, but we have met over and over again for centuries. The problem you have with me is a manifestation of an illness. Your sick mind is my burden. This is a temporary problem that needs a permanent solution. Temporary, meaning this too shall pass. Temporary, meaning I hope to never see you again. Temporary, meaning you will find me again tomorrow. Temporary, meaning black bodies will not be treated like target practice forever. One day their humanity will be seen, heard, acknowledged, and accepted. Humanity will not be violated forever. Permanent solution meaning the change we experience will not be a change. After all, a caterpillar does not change into a butterfly. Change is reversible. A metamorphosis will take place, a change so dramatic it breaks the boundaries of that word. Transformation is required. Family, no matter where you are in the world, I really do hope and pray that you have started your healing process from experiencing the trauma of watching George Floyd die on video.
I really, really hope that you started your healing journey because it is so important that you heal in order to stay in the fight against injustice against Black people because it's going to get uglier before it gets better. And we need you. We need you to operate in your purpose. We need for you to stay obedient and fulfill God's word and do what it is that he has called you to do. And in order for you to do that and be able to stand against what's coming you know, in the future against you, you have to heal. Whatever that healing looks like for you. For Nana, it was writing in a poem. For me, it's talking to my therapist. What does healing mean for you? There is no right or wrong way to heal from trauma. So whatever that looks like for you, I just pray that you take the necessary steps to start your healing process so we can continue to fight injustice against Black people. Thank you so much for having another moment of truth with me. Please share this episode across all your social media platforms. And until next time, always remember that you are enough and your truth is beautiful.